Hello guys, welcome back to Abstronic Tutorial. The topic, how to calculate the resistor connected in the parallel circuit. In the previous topic about the three resistor connected in the series circuit. Now let's review again how the current flowing through the series circuit. In the series circuit, the current flowing through R1, R2, and R3 must be equal simply because the current flowing in one path. Since we have three resistor connected in the parallel circuit, so therefore the current flowing into three path, not like in the series circuit just flowing in one path. So when the total current IT in the series circuit equivalent to I1, I2, I3, then in the parallel circuit, which is the opposite of the series circuit, the current is not equal. So therefore, IT equivalent to I1 plus I2 plus I3. So let's determine the total current flowing in the circuit, the current from each of the resistor, the total resistance, and also calculate the power from each of the resistor. To calculate the total resistance, the formula 1 over RT equivalent to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over R3. Then substitute the value of the resistor to the formula 1 over RT equivalent to 1 over R1 10 kilo ohms plus 1 over R2 2 kilo ohms plus 1 over R3, 1 kilo ohms. Then, 1 over RT equivalent to 1 divided by 10 is 0 0.1 kilo ohms plus 1 divided by 2, 0 0.5 kilo ohms plus 1 divided by 1 equivalent to 1 kilo ohms. So, 1 over RT equivalent to 0 0.1K plus 0 0.5K plus 1K. Then, 1 over RT will be 1.6K. Since RT below the bar line and 1.6 kilo ohms separate from the left equation, then RT must be cross multiply to 1.6 kilo ohms. Then 1 equivalent to 1.6 kilo ohms times RT. Then 1 divided by 1.6K equivalent to RT. Then RT equivalent to 0 0.625 kilo ohms. Now we have total voltage 9 volt, total resistance 0 0.625 kilo ohms. Then we can solve the total current of the circuit.
to calculate the total current using the Ohm's law formula voltage equivalent to current times the resistance or simply the equation like this the total voltage Vt equivalent to the total current IT times the total resistance RT. Then simplify the formula to calculate the total current. So IT equivalent to BT divided by RT. Then substitute the total voltage and the total resistance to the equation. So IT equivalent to BT 9 volt divided by RT 0 0.625K. So IT will be 14.4 milliamp. Since the resistor parallel to the battery, then the voltage across all the resistor must be the voltage of the battery. Now we can calculate the current flowing from each of the resistor by using Ohm's law formula voltage equivalent to current times the resistance. Then simplify current equivalent to voltage divided by resistance. Now let's calculate the current from the resistor 1. So I1 equivalent to voltage 9 volt divided by R1 10 kilo ohms. I1 will be 0 0.9 milliamp. Now let's calculate I2 equivalent to 9 volt divided by R2 2 kilo ohms. So I2 equivalent to 4.5 milliamp. Then calculate I3 equivalent to 9 volt divided by R3 1 kilo ohms. Therefore, I3 will be 9 milliamp. Now we can calculate the power from each of the resistor. So let's start from R1. By using power formula, power equivalent to voltage times the current. P1 equivalent to voltage 9 volt times the current I1 0 0.9 milliamp. So P1 will be 8.1 milliwatts. So P2 equivalent to 9 volt times I2 4.5 milliamp. Then P2 will be 40.5 milliwatts. So let's calculate P3 equivalent to voltage 9 volt times the I3 9 milliamp. Then P3 
will be 81 milliwatts. So guys, this is the end of my video. You can watch the part one. I just put the link in the description below. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Like and share.